at the beginning I would like to say a few words for our member of our country uh, that we cannot doubt that our country was several times visited by extraterrestrial civilization. Unfortunately, our information um, are going to uh, going through into uh, record, reporters and journalists, and they do not report it as it's meant to be. Uh, our public. Uh, who is influenced by um, media uh, is accepting very badly um, possibility of uh, existence of extraterrestrials on the planet Earth. And that's why in the media uh, the term conspirational theory became very popular which is um, actually, which means that it is for everything which we cannot actually um, prove or which we doubt. Because this Congress is about extraterrestrials and UFOs, but also about topic of exopolitics, about which our foreign guests will be talking about. I would like to uh, take this opportunity to introduce our to our listeners uh, the topic topic of exopolitics. And I would like to uh, mention briefly. First, I would like to say that we do not wait for the first contact because the first contact has already happened. Uh, Czech public is not used to be interested uh, in the question of extraterrestrials. It's such a specific specifics for Czech Republic um, as Czech people are non-believers. They are not open uh, to the topic of extraterrestrials and they do not believe in this and they laugh at this. So that's why it is more difficult to do this uh, in the Czech Republic. Uh, then the pub uh, Czech public, which is not informed or barely informed, actually sticks to the wrong information which comes from the media. And then we, get, we come closer to the a uh, term co of conspirational theory. What you can see right now are um, night pictures in the Czech Republic, which we received from various uh, witnesses. Uh, we get different reports, photographs, and um, actually they ask us to explain what is happening and what we can actually see on these pictures. I got a question. Well, as I said uh, earlier, in general, exopolitica comes from the understanding of, of the matter that our planet has been visited many, many times in a previous, la in a previous li life. Uh, by many extra extraterrestrials with various information. Uh, extraterrestrials are a secret matter, especially uh, when it comes to politics, politicians, army, ministers, and uh, on many occasions even presidents are not informed about this. I think that the matter of UFO has the highest priority of secrecy. Um, I will make it easier now. You can have a look at a daily sites and pictures of various objects as we have received those throughout the times. As you can see, the phenomena of observing UFO or unusual objects is actually happening in the Czech Republic as well. I would like to say that we do not have a particular laboratory where we would be able to uh, 
vyhodnotit a kind of, uh, nějaký profesionální názor. Judge each picture bylo, and say pravda, what it was, what happened there, to vyrobil ve Photoshopu. or whether it was made in the Photoshop. Uh, je jeden z posledních, uh, This is one of the latest svědka, pictures uh, Žiži of Žiži one of Žiži our Žiži Žiži witnesses Žiži from the Southern Bohemia, obědě, who took a picture obědě, during the lunch time of three zvore. objects. I would like to come back to exopolitics. The basic thought of the exopolitics is that UFO, which a public observes, is actually well known in the world. And uh, the governments of the Czech Republic had actually a meeting, secret meetings with extraterrestrials. Uh, certain secret infrastructure is dealing about technologies and information which come from extraterrestrial sources. I also added a few snapshots where you can see that UFO are followed and viewed by uh, by planes, and you can see that these snapshots are actually possible. I will come back to exopolitics. Um, as I said earlier, it is a proof, uh, it's a science which would like to prove the existence of extraterrestrials. Also, we would like to have our public informed in these questions. And the other aspects of exopolitics is the persuasion of, a, of political, um, political experts that um, there are certain risks which is the loss of a public belief. I don't mean exactly here in the Czech Republic, but also, yes, we'd have to deal with this topic in the Czech Republic. Our optimal aim would be um, to uh, get into contact with uh, diplomatic relations with extraterrestrials on our planet Earth. This is our Czech exopolitics um, group in the Czech Republic, our common photography. And I said earlier that I would like to introduce exopolitics very briefly. Um, because our guests will be talking about this uh, in, de in detail, I would like to leave this topic. And I would like to introduce you the Czech project Alpha. Maybe some of you already heard about this. I have chosen this picture very consciously, so you can imagine very clearly what is the purpose of a Project Alpha. It's a, it's a project which is dealing with the research into UFO and into contactees, into contactees in the Czech Republic. It was founded approximately about 12, 15 years ago when we started to notice that in the public there is a bigger and bigger amount of witnesses who share their experiences with us, with UFO. We started to um, go further and further this way and started to research this subject. Uh, currently, we have 85 cases of syndromes, uh, UFO, uh, abductees and contactees. We in this project um, distinguish between two types of witnesses. These are abductees and then contactees. 
When we specify who is abductee, this is the person who is according to his or her will abducted by UFO and is being experimented on. Uh, contactee is the person who has been somehow contacted by extraterrestrials. It could be also abduction, however, in many cases it is mostly a contact. I prepared several paintings um, of uh, our witnesses, how they actually um, imagine and how they saw extraterrestrials. Now I would like to uh, go over to the person who actually were contacted and I would like to introduce two cases where people were contacted with so-called with so positive extraterrestrials. I would like to introduce you the case of uh, Mrs. Daniela. The story began uh, in 2000. Uh, she traveled by train from Ústí nad Labem to Prague and um, somehow she happened to be in a limbo. She says it wasn't asleep. However, she was beamed up to the universe. I would like to remind you it was a daytime experience. Suddenly she saw uh, an object with two large windows and she says she wasn't scared at that time. She describes two extraterrestrial uh, people, persons next to her. Um, these per, these persons were supposed to take her to the con conference where she would meet many different various extraterrestrials and this witness says that these these two persons introduced themselves as as Zeron from Lira and Nels Playart. It describes a huge conference or meeting, a big arena, where in the middle was a man standing, where he actually opened his palm, he saw a hologram of the planet Earth. And she, on that she saw a model situation of the end of the world. She described that she was told that she is at the Universal Confederation and that there is only 900 years remaining to the end of our planet Earth. And she says that it was being decided what was actually going to happen with our planet Earth. You can see here in more detail um, actually the, the representative of extraterrestrials. Also, I would like to mention the case of Mrs. Anna, also a positive aspect or positive encounter. Uh, Mrs. Anna um, many times had uh, several experiences, however, however, the basic breakpoint came in 2011, when some new kind of contact emerged. During her meditation, she happens to be in the dream where she is on the board of a ship with various weird um, engines. There were also some beautiful extraterrestrials, but they were much, much more beautiful than we actually are. And there was a man in a strange uniform and he introduced himself as El. He mentioned he is from planet Venus. This information, of course, creates a smile on the face because we doubt that life on Venus exists. Yes, probably that is true. However, this is not the only contact 
who actually mentions that somebody was contacted from the planet Venus. But how comes they are from planet Venus, that nothing exists on planet Venus, planet Venus but apparently it's a different dimension which we cannot imagine, and I cannot imagine myself either. When I continue, uh, the communication with this person uh, actually continues in a meditation meditational level and she describes her city next to the forest and which was uh, surrounded by a bubble from the enemies it is a peaceful place and this person advises mrs anna how to live in the best way how to cure um, home animals and teach spiritual meaning of colors and other things. She describes that uh, on her planet, on their planet, exists mon monogamous relationships and people have only two children. Um, uh, apparently, they are 5,000 years old. They follow universal laws. They do not go against the nature. They say that we were implanted a gene. We as a humanity were implanted a gene so that we cannot live that long. According to this person, we are very primitive. However, on the other side, we are, fascinate, we are fascinating to them. They are scared that we are, as a civilization, going back to animals because we do not use our conscious mind. We do not create. We do not bring beauty and not even a wisdom. They also describe that um, our earthly technologies, such as TV, uh, should make human value lower. These were two examples of contactees of a positive outcome, and this is uh, paintings of the witness. These are our pa uh, other paintings of the witnesses who described various uh, encounters, and they were able to draw these. So we have a collection. We have a collection of these drawings. Now I would like to um, touch the topic of abductees because we cannot turn our heads away that from the fact that some people have negative experiences. I would like to mention the syndrome of abduction by UFO and there are certain syndromes of the topics which follow one by the other. I understand the abduction by UFO are actually very good uh, topic for many CIFIM science fiction movies. Mainly it is a topic which is um, threatening, um, which is not welcome and it is a um, social taboo. It is very important to remind that these witnesses actually do go through very strange experiences uh, on the physical and psychological level. Uh, this is um, research for us on the verge of accepted reality. And I can explain to you only this syndrome from the point of researcher, not the scientist. Because, as we heard earlier, the, the scientists, uh, the wise scientists put their hands away from, from such a topic. This syndrome is very large phenomena which touches all spheres of our human society and um, influences all the levels of our society. And very briefly, um, the contents of, um, of uh, these topics are dreams, then uh, the visitor is in the bedroom, then we see elements of lights, afterwards uh, 
big people can be frozen, then tele uh, telepathic communication, then teleportation, as well as some kind of um, uh, communication on the ships, um, also interest in uh, human reproduction organs, as well as uh, witnesses on these ships are introduced to hybrid children. Um, they are introduced to unknown technologies. And then very often they are taken back to their original place. Very often they have some kind of um, uh, cover memory and they have implantations or physical traces on their bodies. I think by these syndromes many women suffer from. But actually what is happening is that these experiences uh, bring a good thing to these witnesses. It, it is regarding the psychological transformation. Again, I have chosen a few drawings from the witnesses. As you can see on this picture, we can see children here. These children have huge black eyes. Another witness um, painted uh, other representative of extraterrestrials that she came in contact with. Another picture of the witnesses, how they describe uh, the visitor in the bedroom. The witnesses also draw various uh, encounters um, for us with flying objects. Uh, when I spoke about uh, the case of Mrs. Diana, uh, this is the Universal Confederation, how they were able to put it on a paper. So it is not only a statement of one person, but actually a statement of many more witnesses. We come to the question, how do we recognize the real uh, abductee? Uh, very often this person is in a really bad uh, psychological state. He is worried that he, people will be laughing at him or her, that he is worried that he or she is not normal. And uh, in many cases, he is hesitant to visit a specialist doctor such as psychiatrist. Um, is, doesn't believe and doesn't want to be medialized, doesn't want to share experiences in the media or even with the family members. Researchers very uh, in very difficult way finds tries to find out what was the experience like. I prepared several cases here. One case. The witness called Teta Zřebenem aunt with the comp and weird men. When the witness was five years old and he was a small boy, when he was put uh, put to bed, then he was alone in his room. He felt some kind of touches on his head, and very often he see. He's, he saw a, a body of a woman. She had a very cold face. The, the, the boy felt uh, the feeling of being paralyzed. He was not able to talk. He wasn't able to say anything at all. And this figure uh, somehow uh, did something on his head with some kind of a thing, something which was like a comb. So this... this case uh, actually happened few times that's why the witness remembers that really well when the witness when the witness was seven years old uh, during three years new experiences were happening some kind of weird 
two weird men se, were watching this boy. One of the men Avšak was talking. However, the small boy didn't understand what he was being told. And these men were coming even when the boy moved to another city. Uh, he describes uh, them as people with uh, very white skin, black hair and a weird clothing. This was one of the case from our da database from Alpha. Now I would like to talk about something which is more rough. This happened also in the bedroom of our witness. And this experience actually was an experience of the mother and the daughter. Uh, the daughter was 16 years old and she was already afraid to fall asleep because she said that during the night she was being paralyzed by somebody. Mother said that very often the daughter was sitting on the edge of bed with open eyes and she was somehow crooked and she was staring in front of her. Uh, at the age of 16, uh, the daughter wakes up and she starts uh, screaming that there are some people standing around her. The mother, mother comes to the room, switches on the light, but the daughter doesn't move at all. She is paralyzed and she is staring into the space. She cannot move. In the morning, she says she saw she saw three people in the room, according according to the painting. Two stood next to her bed and one next to the bed of her mother. In February 2011, also her mother goes through an experience. She wakes up with a strange feeling that somebody sits on top of her quilt and she cannot see this person. She just feels the pressure of the lying body. She cannot move. She feels strange warmth, maybe sexual contact, and she feels it stronger and stronger. Next to her, her husband is sleeping, who is sleeping very deeply. He doesn't notice anything. Afterwards, when the mother wakes up, she finds bruises on her body, which she cannot explain. I would also like to mention the case of a weird creature next to the phone box. It happened a few years ago. It was sent to us by the witness from a central Bohemia who described very weird experience which started that day by unusual uh, shifts of time and unexplainable movements of time uh, going forward. Uh, nevertheless, he decided to go outside to the phone box and he decided to call his daughter and ask her when she will be arriving. However, in front of the phone box, he meets a strange person who was small and such a such as the painting above and this person asks weird question uh, what is this line here what is this cord where does it lead to and points points out at, at the phone uh, the witness uh, is taken by surprise uh, and doesn't know what to answer mm, it, it's surprised that uh, this person doesn't know the phone but uh, starts explaining that this is the telephone however suddenly the person disappeared the witness comes out of the phone box looks around and there is nobody around. Mm. The person 
things well. He he couldn't have disappeared. I would have seen I would have seen him in the distance. However, the story continues. The witness goes home to the uh, cottage. And suddenly, uh, the person wakes up and sees a creature in the room. This creature has a strange helmet on the head. And this reminds a helmet of a diver. It, the person is very small. The witness cannot move. The witness wants to stand up, but cannot stand up. Suddenly, the whole scene disappears, and the witness comes to the door and opens the doors because uh, he gained very strange feeling that somebody is coming, but it didn't actually happen. The witness goes back to bed and falls asleep, and the whole story ends up like that. Now I have prepared one more story for you, which is controversial. However, I've decided, uh, uh, according to the positivity of the whole Congress, that I am going to perhaps not mention it or perhaps mention it later on. Here you can see... Um, Few, you can see views of certain um, uh, injuries of the witnesses who woke up after the weird encounter with UFOs and they do not remember how these injuries actually happened to them. These are authentic pictures and this is from our cases. We didn't take it from the internet. On the left hand side, you can see the picture of head and at the bottom there is some kind of an object. Bottom part of the head. This is the same picture. It was a woman who we visited in Moravia and who actually wanted to prove us that she has something in her head, but she doesn't know how it got there. She visited a doctor, but the doctor didn't find any explanation for that. We arrived and we we started to investigate the whole case. Very interesting was the point that the doctors tried to persuade us that it is some kind of an object which is about 10 centimeters large and it is impossible that she has that in her head and was still living. However, this woman was healthy. She didn't suffer from anything. Later on, this um, unknown subject started to bend and started to become shorter. Afterwards, she started to suffer from headaches and uh, several problems. After a few years, this subject somehow self-contained itself and disappeared without traces. The doctors didn't find any explanation for that and they um, tried to um, tell her that this is a cyst. The, the picture very obviously showed that it was a metal subject. If we were trying to explain what is the UFO abduction from the prof professional point of view or from the view of the scientists, then it is the explanation of professionals which comes and they say this is a sleeping paralysis, which is an official explanation of the abduction by UFO. Perhaps it's also a worldwide view. But um, sleeping, sleeping paralysis cannot explain why so many cases have common traces. Um, they remain very unique and very individual. They can, um, it cannot explain the abduction of humans who were not sleeping at that time or 
who were not alone, who were with other people, or who were in the car, or uh, it was a daytime, or who had physical traces on their bodies, or various uh, implants, or repeated experiences. And that is why I think sleeping paralysis as a clear explanation cannot be taken seriously as it is being proposed by sexologists, psychologists, because these are very sure about this. When we have a look at other explanations, alternative explanations, what could be behind the abduction, uh, UFO abduction, then we can speculate that this syndrome could be a part of some kind of agreement of extraterrestrial civilization with the government of USA from 1954. The agreement, which um, was not a, which, which was not possible to trace and control anymore. It could be a genetic project. Um, which was done on the human race. Also syndrome of um, UFO abduction is not the main target of the research of a Czech scientific scientific Czech psychiatrist Psychiatrists do not have any experience with this and they cannot be open, they cannot view this phenomena with the open mind. So, my friends, now I will leave the topic of the Project Alpha and we'll have a look at a very interesting analysis of Simona Šmídová, that is uh, our colleague, who also cooperates on our Project Alpha. Uh, project of abductions and together we were a member of the UFO group in Prague but since uh, 2009 of the um, creation of Czech exo exopolitics we left this UFO group and Simona Šmídová became individual researcher. She does it on her own. Why do I speak about this? Because in the years of 2003 till 2009, in 2009, yet Still, when the when the author was um, a member of the project, um, well, the fact was discovered that um, a person came and uh, he introduced himself as a reporter of the of the news, and he mentioned that the project Zaze uh, works on some kind of project where even the members of Alpha are not very well informed. Uh, he passed her the documents, which was a transcript of the project, Zaře, and this existence of this project, about existence of this project, Simona didn't have a clue. That was a letter of an army man um, where a certain general of Czech um, Czech social army mention about Russian soldiers who, uh, who were chosen to be introduced to the topics of UFO. The second document was um, media analysis of this letter. Based on this experience, the author uh, left Project Sáře and she started to um, research Project UFO. Uh, that was the main motif. Um, try to clear, make clear and explain what actually happened. And the result of the long-term 
work she uh, presented in the article which is called um, Widow, Widows of, uh, of uh, Czech Science which is possible to buy um, in a transcript in the Czech language. And this uh, contains the copy of the secret letter of the Project Zare and this um, news agent's analysis. Uh, in other cases, uh, the author um, shows how Zare covers up um, certain information about UFOs in the Czech Republic. In her analysis, she gives um, undoubtable evidence that the project was from the beginning a military project with coded coded sign, Zaře, and she gives very specific names of soldiers who were involved in this project. This text also consists documents of Zaře, for example, landing of unknown triangle, triangle object in the fields in 1990. And in these documents, there is a very interesting sentence, which proves that army actually is interested very lively in these projects, but not publicly. It says, Major Valache gives a complex report after the consultation with his um, bosses about the allowance of uncovering of the information to the public. From another analysis um, comes that the, the head of the project was a member of, of the secret services. STB, and that was the person dedicated um, to the project of discovery of state secrets. A very interesting point on this is uh, that uh, Czech secret services is monitoring activities of UFO clubs collects reports from the witnesses, which she actually um, decides about and gives reports and analyzes itself and um, says that it is the open and friendly UFO group for everybody without contacting um, the clubs. If, if you are interested in this article, you can find it also on our website and you can see uh, the address here. But other details about this research of Simona Šmídová uh, will be mentioned in uh, Václav Urban's presentation. So, friends, I am coming to the end slowly. I don't know how much time I have right now. Uh, let me have a look at my watch. I have 10 minutes left. Uh, my conclusion was prepared like this. It was actually meant to be a joke. However, if you are interested, I would very gladly go back to this case, um, case number four, which is very rough topic, and I skipped through it. Uh, however, I would be happy if we mention only positive things, but still I cannot just not mention it a little bit. Uh, I would like to mention that some women exist who with these phenomena have great difficulties of abductions. That is um, mainly regarding their femininity. This case, which happened several years ago, and we also researched this case. I would like to mention here very briefly. It describes witness 
Nejprve, vlastně the witness describes the reality that they had separate bedrooms with her husband, and one day the husband wakes up with the weird feeling that next door something is happening. He woke up, got up, and he went to the other room, but he stood in the middle of the door because he saw a white person as th this person sits on his wife. Uh, this husband was taken by surprise and he got frozen. He couldn't move at all. And somehow he describes only a fog, a white fog which was spreading around the room and suddenly this creature this creature has self-absorbed itself. The husband was a skeptic. He did not believe. He was non-believer. But this experience um, threatened him and shocked him so much that he wanted to move to another city. This witness describes that the visits of this creature actually happened again and again and suddenly she started to be pregnant. The signs of pregnancy were also proven by the doctors in ultrasound and sono, and all the tests were positive. However, the witness was not looking forward to a baby because she didn't know who is she expecting the baby with because she didn't have intimate contact with her husband. And suddenly, she fell pregnant. She was confused from the whole situation and she decided to uh, interrupt this pregnancy. When it was coming close to the interruption, she suddenly started to feel worse and worse, and the doctor who was called for stated uh, the return of her menstruation cycle. Uh, the woman was confused, she was looking for explanation, but nobody gave her explanation. I uh, really apologize, I hope I didn't scare you too much. I will read, I will try to read a funny joke, which I found in the American magazine. Uh, it says, my parents left to Roseville and all they brought back to me was this stupid t-shirt. By that I would like to end up my presentation. However, I still have five more minutes remaining, so I would like to come back to yesterday's debate. So I would like to mention something positive and not only stick to negative things. I would like to say that um, I personally think that the humanity is on the threshold of awakening. Uh, some kind of a big transformation. I don't know when exactly this will happen, but I think it is already happening now. By uh, it's happening by us being here, talking about this, listening to this, and also trying to accept this information. And I believe that uh, if some kind of um, extraterrestrial contact was supposed to happen, I think and I believe it will be in uh, all positive. And I do not share images of filmmakers, especially from Hollywood, who 
actually try to uh, present as some kind of possible contact as some kind of a threat that we have to be prepared for. Um, so I do not share the same opinion. And I would like that my last word would be, I am 100% convinced that there are positive races who exist and there are these races have certain plans with us, good plans, and that will be the outcome. Thank you for your attention.